I'm going to give you a pattern that you can use on the quinto while you play guaguancó that will help you learn how to phrase in the tradition. It will help you learn how to space your riffs so that you don't overplay, you know, because it's not just about a random riff that has no meaning. It's all connected to this riff that I'm going to show you right now. And it comes from the bata drum. And it goes like this. I'll show you how you can move away from that pattern and then come back to it. And it's what will guide you to be able to learn how to phrase more in the tradition. <laughs> 